Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at dump. Dump is a utility method that you will use constantly whenever you're trying to diagnose an issue with your collection chain. So let's check out our first example. Let's say we collect and we'll have a very simple array with four integers in it. And then let's add some dummy method calls here. Let's say we're going to call reverse on it. And then let's call a map operation that maybe will We'll do times 10 in each of the values. And then for some odd reason, we will reverse it again. And then finally, we'll call first on it. Okay? So somehow we end up getting 10. If you need to interject in between these calls to know what is getting returned in between each of these steps, then you can use the dump method. So we can interject this with a call to dump. And then maybe let's just see what is being returned after our map operation. So we'll add another dump there and let's check out the results. So there we are. This is our first dump. So right after we instantiate our collection, of course, we just have one, two, three, four. And then right after our map operation at this stage, we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. And then you realize, well, maybe I didn't need to reverse right there. So you can take that method call out and then we get this result instead. So again, dump will allow you to interject in between a long chain of method calls. That way you know exactly what is being returned from each of the steps. Now don't forget, these are only for testing purposes while you are in development. Do not leave this in production code because they will dump out information. So go ahead and remove those before you make any commits to your code base.